Uh, Lucy, uh, lovely to talk to you today, known also uh, as the writer and, and one half of Meets the Richardsons as well. Um, just lovely to see you and speak to you. What are, what are your feelings about the mini budget, uh, what hap that happened on Friday and the impact that it's potentially going to have? Um, I mean, to me personally, I'm fine. Um, but as you know, I, I work with a lot of families that aren't fine, but they haven't been fine since the introduction of the bedroom tax. That had a massive effect on people. That it, it totally destabilised things, and then it, it's built and built. And um, I'm worried about them. I'm worried about how they feel. I'm worried about the the impact of them to be able to parent. It, it's massive because this is our next generation. The stress is put on a on a parent's brain when they are working in a low income family. People are still reeling. Um, you know, we just heard last week um, about the, the changes to universal credit, about how many hours you can be. You can't just slash that. You know, I, I work with families that are from, you know, they're, they're from under supported areas and they have a complex needs and from complex areas. You, you can't just slash something like that. These are, you know, I work with a lot of families where it, they can't work any more hours because you know they might be grandparents and they're having to support support the grandchildren or you know the, the, the disabled there is only so many hours they can do um you can't just slash it it has to be baby steps you know and um it, it, it's just there, there is almost too much to take on um at once but I'm incredibly worried about as I say the ability to parent um, a child, you know, we are talking about this, the, what, what we've seen since COVID to now, we're seeing families that are going through acute trauma, that are bringing children up in a household that are suffering trauma, that will have developmental effects for the next 20 years because, because they're not supported in the right way. Um, it feels like um, the government have this ideal family unit the, the picture what what a modern British family looks like but it, but it's not true people have complex needs and we know poverty affects everything you know you you hear police chief um, uh, you, um police uh, chief you know police saying crime is because of poverty um you know we we we, we can't live in a, in a country where it's okay to be privately wealthy and and and, and publicly and um, in a mess we, we need what, to live you know yeah what, what what would you like to see the government doing to help the, the kind of families that you work with and see struggling the help was there the help was there um in the Blair government the first things he did was he with Hull personally, um, you know, which where my family are from, the first thing Blair did, in, I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> further down the line, there was issues um, and he became very unpopular. But um, a, a centrist Labour government, you know, the, the, the first thing he did was um, he, he helped fishermen's families. His first um, like, couple of hours on the job, he made sure that they were supported because the industry had, had just been left to ruin. And and, and one of the, the biggest things he did was the Shaw Start Centres. Um, you know, he said education, education, education. I, I'd like, you know, Labour have to say early intervention, early intervention. And it's something the Tory government know nothing about. They do not seem to understand how to help complex under supported families and it's all down to early intervention and it saves money in in the public sector in the long run you know the amount of children going into care at the moment is is unsustainable when we, we know that it, it costs upwards of three thousand pounds a week to have a child in care and um, mm. but if, if if there's early intervention so i would have I like them to to be looking at the most vulnerable first I just wish the government was a good parent. If it looks through the eyes of a child, because children have a set of um, international 
children's rights all of their own. And I really feel if we look at a vulnerable child, take, take a child in Middlesbrough, Liverpool, you know, Blackpool, what does that child need? And we build policies around it. It will help everybody. And, and that's what I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing them understanding the importance of early intervention. And this is going to have an effect on us for years, you know. We know so much more now about neurodevelopment than we ever did. We have to start healing. I, mean, I know, you know, it might sound quite work, but we need to heal a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that's gone on. And children should be at the centre of everything, especially the vulnerable ones. Really interesting to talk to you today. Lucy Beaumont, anti-poverty campaigner and comedian. Thank you very much. Thank you.